This is Tiny Cactus, a channel about concepts in molecular biology. Please subscribe to support the channel. I'll be doing a post-translation modification series. The first one is simulation, which is a PTM that has been emerging in the last couple of years. The biological significance of simulation. Simulation is an essential post-translational modification found in all eukaryotes. Since the discovery in 1996, of the small ubiquitin-like modifier, or SUMO, it has been found to be involved in cancer, flower initiation, plant growth, root architecture, and stress response. Mainly, it has been found to be involved in numerous cellular processes. For example, the maintenance of genomic integrity by being involved in chromatin structure and DNA repair, transcriptional regulation, mitochondrial division, and the regulation of signal transduction. Sumo peptides are around 11 kilodaltons in size and closely resemble the 3D structure of ubiquitin. The human genome alone calls for four distinct sumo proteins. They all carry an unstructured tail of 10 to 25 amino acids at their end terminal, which the only function found so far seems to be the formation of sumo chains. All immature pro proteins or precursors carry a C-terminal stretch of 2 to 11 amino acids after an invariant double glycine motif that marks the C-terminal of the mature protein. The sumo protein maturation occurs when specific isopeptidases such as ubiquitin-like proteases hydrolyze the alpha-linked amino acid peptide bond at a C-terminal end, revealing the double glycine motif. The attachment of the mature sumo protein by a covalent bond is accomplished in a 2 to 3 step process. Step 1 is the activation of the sumo protein by the E1 activation enzyme. The E1 is a netodimer composed of two subunities, a regulatory subunity and a catalytic subunity. The activation step is an ATP dependent reaction, where the AMP from the ATP links to the double glycine motif in SUMO, and upon the release of AMP, a thioester bond is formed between the cysteine residue of the catalytic subunity of the E1 and the glycine in SUMO. This results in a conformational change in the E1. The SUMO peptide is then transferred to the 193rd cysteine residue of the E2 SUMO conjugating enzyme. This happens via a transfer-esterification reaction. Unlike in ubiquitination, this E2 can transfer directly SUMO to the lysine residue in the target protein. The lysine residue is usually in the consensus sequence that is shown here, where this stands for a large hydrophobic residue and X is any other amino acid. Other motifs that are targeted for simulation have also been characterized, but will not be discussed here. Even though sumo conjugating enzymes might be enough to conjugate sumo to the target protein, the conjugation step can be enhanced by an E3 ligase. Sumo E3 ligase are able to recognize substrate allowing for a more specific process. In plants, proteins that mediate the formation of sumo polychains have been described and designated of E4 thials. Sumoylation is a reversible process by the removal of the sumo modifier from the target protein. Sumo proteases have a dual function. They are involved in the maturation process of the sumo precursor and in the hydrolyzing of peptide bonds to release sumo from target proteins. In yeast, two sumo proteases have been found, ubiquitin-like protease 1 and 2. These enzymes have different specificities and distributions in the cell. For instance, ULP1 is mainly distributed around the nucleus, while ULP2 is unevenly distributed in the cytoplasm. In mammals, the homologs for the ULPs are centrin-specific proteases, or SAMPs, which have been found in the, along with another class of sumo proteases, dissimulating as a peptide is in plants. Several ubiquitin-like proteases have been found and the hypothesis of plants having another class of family of proteases has been brought forward. In number, the proteases surpass the E3 ligases and even the sumo-conjugating enzymes combined, 
which suggests that this simulating might be an even more specific process than simulation itself. So here are some of the key points in the simulation process. Sumo precursor C-terminal tail is cleaved off to expose the double glycine motif. The sumo protein is activated in an ATP dependent process by the E1 activation enzyme. A thioester bond is formed between the cysteine residue of the sumo activation enzyme 2, which is the catalytic subunit, and the glycine in sumo. The sumo protein is transferred from the sumo activation enzyme 2 to the cysteine residue in the sumo conjugating <coughs> enzyme 2 via a transesterification reaction. The sumo protein can be transferred directly from the sumo conjugating enzyme to the lysine residue of the target protein. E3 ligases can enhance the conjugation process. E4 PLs mediate the formation of polychains of sumo in plants. Sumulation can be reversed by sumo proteases which cleave off the sumo modifier of the target protein. So here I leave you with an overview of the simulation process. If you want to know more, please leave a comment, like and subscribe. In case you want to know more, I leave here some of the reviews in which I paste this video.